You live in the UK, the US or Europe. You're desperate to break free from the hold that Apple and Samsung have over you as being the only flagship phones you can buy. I'm here to tell you who you should import from, how you import it, what fees there are to pay, and then how to set up your Chinese imported phone. Let's go. For those that don't know already, I am The Average Dad. I make tech-based content helping you, the consumer, decide on the right product to buy for the right price. So without further ado, let's talk about why you would like to import. Well, as touched on in the intro, you're stuck if you want a flagship. If you want a flagship device, you will have to get an iPhone 14 Pro or a Samsung S22 Ultra or Z Fold 4. Those are pretty much your only real flagship devices that you can buy in the UK, US or Europe just now. That's not good enough. I want more. That's why my journey has taken me far afield to some dodgy looking websites to purchase some imported phones from the lovely land of China. So you know why you want to buy them? But where are you going to buy them from? Well, in my experience, I have used three companies and I can tell you that all three have been legitimate for me, fairly priced. When it comes to their shipping and taxes, things do differ, so we'll get into that. Now, the three companies I have used recently have been Wanda Mobile, which I've done a dedicated video on because I really like their service, Gizstop and Blue Iode. Those three companies have been, first of all, straight off the bat to ease any concerns. All three have been legitimate, followed through on their word. All three actually delivered the devices sooner than they said in their website. So that was a major plus to all. So if you have reviewed recently Wanda, Blue Iode or Gizstop, I am here to tell you that in my experience using them a few times, they always follow through with their word. Now where things differ as mentioned is in the shipping costs. Wanda Mobile are the only one of the three in my experience that I have never had to pay any import tax for. And that's even since, for all of you watching the UK, we have moved from the EU, so we've removed from the EU, I still haven't had to pay any import tax. Recently I bought from Blue Iode, I bought the Vivo X Note for roughly translated to £850 with a £100 tax that I had to pay for import, so £950. The Gizstop was somehow a lower customs tax and it was around £50 for a roughly £1,000 device. So Wanda Mobile, as far as import tax, for me, they're the best. Now as far as shipping, again, Big disparity here, Gizstop and Blue Iode, their shipping was roughly 50 or 60 pounds to get the device on international shipping with insurance within seven working days. Wanda Mobile, 25 pounds. So, big tick for Wanda um, overall, but let me just explain to you the benefits of importing a phone. Benefit number one, you have way more to choose from. Looking at Wanda's mobile site right now, Vivo, Honor, Huawei, Oppo, Apple, Samsung, OnePlus, so much more to choose from and limited edition phones as well. Phones that are never come, so you, you can see OnePlus and Honor are hit in the UK way more often now. But these limited edition, like the Genshin Impact OnePlus 10, all these phones are never going to come to the UK. The only way for you to get hold of them is to import them. So the major benefit is you have that choice. Benefit number two, cost. 
These phones are far cheaper. I have somewhere the iPhone 14 Pro, Pro Max, Pro, Pro Max, 256 gigabyte version. This was 1300 pounds. In my other hand, now I have the Vivo X Note, 256 gigabyte, 950 pound including all shipping and taxes and let me tell you the camera system overall on the vivo is superior than the iphone 14 pro max yes the results are more consistent but this isn't a camera review so those are the two major benefits of importing your device freedom of choice cost what are the negatives to importing a phone well as mentioned they're foreign. They come with the Chinese ROM, not a global ROM. What does that mean to you? That means that you're going to see something like this when you open up the phone. Origin OS. Heard of it? No. Vivo use FunTouch OS in Europe and the UK, but in China they use Origin OS. So you have to set up the phone and install Google Play Store. I am going to do a separate video that you can watch after this one Make sure you watch this to the end. And then you can watch how to set up the device. Now I'll probably not drop that for a few days to be fair. Um, but when I do, I'll try and remember to link it in a card at this timestamp. The other drawback of global ROMs, and there are some, not only do you have to install Google Play, there are certain tweaks you have to make to notifications and battery app management. I will detail them all in the next video, but long story short, if you don't change some of the settings, you will not receive your notifications in real time. That goes for WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, all those social media apps. You'll not get your notifications at the same time. Now, there are workarounds for this that I'll explain to you in another video, but all your launchers, Nova Launcher, anything you may use from the Google Play Store, Play Store will work absolutely fine and notifications will come through using those launchers as well. The other drawback from importing your device, and this is a big one, while you will receive your device, absolutely, while your device is insured, that is fine as far as shipping goes. But when you have the device, the only way around insuring your device here in the UK anyway, is just to add it to your home contents insurance, which is what I do. So if anything were to go wrong, if it was stolen, lost, then I'd just claim it through my house insurance. Because we are still talking about a thousand pound device after all. Warranty, however, no bueno. If this screen breaks, this seven inch screen breaks on my Vivo X Note, I can't just take it down to the vivo shop there isn't one i can't just take it to the stall in your local mall there isn't one they will not have the parts for it so you will have to ship it to china to get mended that is going to cost a lot of money and you will have to pay for the repair because warranty will not cover an imported phone that is something you have to be extremely clear about even when you buy the Vivo and you get the full unboxing experience with the charger and the case and a little VIP card that includes warranty, we well, can disregard that because you've imported the phone. It is no longer valid. Super, super important point there. So to summarize, importing a phone has major benefits, but it also has its drawbacks. What I want to clear up is with the three sites mentioned, Wanda, Gizstop, and Blue Iode, they are legitimate sites. They haven't sponsored this video. I'm telling you the truth. Watch any of my 140 videos I've posted so far. That's the whole point of my channel, is to tell the truth. And if you have purchased, or you're looking to purchase an imported phone, and you've got any questions, leave your questions in the comments below. I've done quite a few Q and A's already over the, t the past, with hundreds of comments and questions answered, I am always here to answer your comments regarding Google Play Store, Google Pay, NFC, Android Auto, all those things that may or may not work depending on your device. So if you've watched to this point in the video, thank you very much. 
If you haven't already, subscribe, like, do all that stuff to boost the algorithm for me. And until next time, peace.